Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Crashlands. I'm Lokwood. You are you, and you are here to watch Crashlands. If you're not, go find another video on my channel to watch and enjoy it. When we last left off, we had been getting our butts blistered and beat by a creature in the labyrinth down here. And we are going to try to take him out. However, we're going to make... What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I don't think we can make any more armor. No, we cannot. We can make a balloon. Uh, oh, we can make the fishing pole. Let's make the fishing pole. Make the fishing pole. Gotta have the fishing pole. Gotta have the fishing pole. Upgrade complete. Yes. Yes. Ooh, yeah, yes. Okay, so now we need to try to work on making this guy. Let's take a look at how we fish. And oh my gosh, there's no fishing hole here. <laughs> I do know where there is a fishing hole. Actually, I know where there's two fishing holes. There's one right there, and there's one up at Grandy Mammy Mammy's place. Let's go check those out before we try and go kill the rock monster. See if we can get some goodies. Oh, seriously, Wampit? You are nothing! See? You're nothing! Nothing! Wow, what did I do to these guys? Seriously? What the heck? It's like Night of the Pre-Spawn Attack. Oh, die. Wow, and he attacked me. And he's attacked. What? Seriously, what is with this? I'm just defending myself. I guess we're going to attack you too, because otherwise you will attack us. There we go, and then let's attack him, just to get him out of the way. There we go, fishing hole. You just toss it in, you've got the little hook that drops down, and you got these weird little thingies that you just click on, and... Once they're in the path, you can't go left or right. You can just go straight up. Yeah, you just click on the screen or tap on your screen if you're playing this on mobile. And it reels it in. And anything that is directly above your fishing hook, it will reel in. doesn't matter how big or how small, it will reel it in. Ooh, get the big one. Big ones usually can be that guy right there, so can the medium ones. The bigger they are, the more loot they have. And you can basically, if you're lucky enough, you can get every single uh, fishing pod, or whatever you want to call them, on the screen. There we go, check that out. Now each fishing hole has a predetermined yet undisclosed amount of times you can fish it before it will disappear and put a respawn timer on it, like that one right there, of two hours. All right, now let's go check out Granny Mammy's home, because she's got a fishing hole up there, too. She's got two. Oh, she's got three up here. All right, let's grab the bacon weed while we're up here. So as you saw, I only got one of those like smaller medium ones, um, and it popped out two snails. So sometimes I will sit and wait because they will generally line themselves up. Uh, you just have to be patient, and you can usually get some goodies. Now, one thing to remember is that when you're fishing, time does not stop. The world continues to go on around you. You can and will be attacked if the monsters are in an aggressive mood. Oh, come on. Come back here. 
There we go. Nice. And you'll get like little records right here for the for the fat head fish or whatever they are. Like right there, 25 pound fat head, five and a half pound ball snail. And I believe you can get records on them as well. I'm not quite sure. And if they are, I'm pretty darn sure they're local only and not like a, a community around the world where you're competing against other people. Because there's really, there's no skill to this. It's just a matter of, oh, I got six. I got one. I got two. That kind of thing. But you're doing this for resources. You're not doing it for records. You're not doing it for competition. So it's just something that needs to be done. And there we go. Ooh. Let's collect those. Gassics. The squeeze. Ooh, dart. Dart. I think I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah, I'm being sidetracked. That's fine. Alrighty then. We should have enough. Yes, we have enough fish to make that. Okay, I'm going to turn... Uh, how do I turn it off? Offline. There we go. Alright. So let's go and kill ourselves. A rockhead! Or try to anyway. Actually, there was. Oh, I haven't actually discovered that one. I know there's one down there. In fact, we've seen it. And there he is, and there's our rest in peace sign. Bl rocks, yeah, block stock. Where was that teleporter? I could have swore there was a teleporter right here. Or was it just one of those? Ah, there we go. Good. Alright, we've got about a minute left of flight. Let's see if we can't utilize that to our advantage. Let's also see if we can avoid dying five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Ooh, the Glottopus, he's back. Ow! Dude, that... Oh! That was my own dang fault. That was my own fault. Indeed it was. It will. Still got plenty of time, plenty of health. Although our flight will be exhausted by the time we get up there, so we're just gonna not try to get up there in a hurry. Take our time, get a couple more squeeze on the way. Ah! Cheaty hacks! Cheaty hacks! Ha <laughs> ha ha! That was cool. I've never actually done that, but I've always wanted to know what uh, happens when you lose your flight over water. Let's try and keep him in the room this time. Ooh, critical. That should do it. Oh, out of the way. There we go. Got him. All right, now we can go try and kill this guy again. All right, let's... 
Ooh, I'm in combat. Come on, come on, give me that. Oh, come on, seriously. I just, I, 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 I just, I want to give my. Oh, I can't give my guy a speed boost. That sucks. This guy's AOE is tremendous. Now, I believe he attacks automatically. Yes, get wrecked. What? Yada yada yada. We've heard all that. And I think I'm just gonna let my uh, little water guy do some damage. And I am going to toss bombs. And I can't change my my weapon. So that sucks. We saw that bit before. Stay away from the hands. Stay away from the hands. Oh, oh. Yep, stay away from the big hands. Definitely stay away from the big hands. up there is really doing some decent damage. I am liking it. I think he's doing more than I am, actually, in the long run. Oh, barely made it out of that. Now, granted, hit per hit, I am definitely doing more damage, but I believe he is just doing the constant, constant damage, which is actually what's helping us out. More than anything. It's about to go. There we go. Tech attack like get wrecked. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Almost avoided that. Ouch. 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 The timing on this. I might ever do like one attack. Unless I'm lucky enough to get the berserk rage going. Okay, this is where it really starts to suck. I can't remember if I can kill these guys. Yes, I can. I just have to get up close to them. him so he gets focused on him we really need to focus on this guy because he's just going to keep spitting those guys out forever attack if we get close to one otherwise ignore them oops Way, stun, poison. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Poison, stun. Ooh, that was close. Stay out of the way, stay out of the way. There we go. Kekavik Tatk Reeked And boom That was three tries? I did better. First time I did him, I believe it took me like five or six tries. 
Debot. Excellent. By mother, that was the coolest. That giant rock thing was like a crunch, and you were like, "Oh no!" Did you two know that was going to happen? I had no idea. And a good thing you were here. It would have caused serious problems with my disorder and Jan's frightfulness. Looking at the map here, it does say Ect Urs checked. Chet Vunkt Dar. Must have been an ancient warning or something. That thing must have been older than the Tendrum. We ain't even heard a story about anything like that. I wonder where it came from. Ooh, we should start a guild. A guild? For what? For adventures! For answering questions like, what the heck was that? Ah, uh, yep, I agree with Adiana. I wrote that stranger here. What's your name? Flux. Flux Daves. I vote Flux Daves, the, this purpley hero, as chief of the adventure guild. Hooray for Flux Adventure Supreme! Hey, what about me? I propose you did a good job of fleeing from that giant rock thing while Flux killed it. Oh, I know, this box here can be this, the Secretary of Cowardice. <laughs> that sounds like a good title for you, Juice Box. Urgh. Let's see if I can overload my profanity filter, you piece of... Urgh, urgh. Ah, you jerks! Let's get back to work, Secretary of Cowardice, Juice Box. Dumb at me, you Shipping, shipping, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Lots of fun. Lots of fun. All right, let's head back home. And regroup. Let's see what we got to do next. Ooh, we got some squeeze a harvest. Oh, you jerk. This is my private land. Ooh. We got a chair. A squee chair. A squee little chair. All right, let's build us some armor. Okay, what else can we... We're looking for this thing, so we need to go kill us some tendrils and find the tar pits. Um, the tar pits, uh, I believe they're like, ah, like around this periphery. I could be wrong. I probably am. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, it's just a white. Gives us toughness, which is defense. I suppose we'll take it. Just because. What do we get? What do we get? Blue! Very nice. More toughness. Burn chance. Poison resist. We're losing HP regen and electric resist, but the hit points and the other is phenomenal. Alright, let's get rid of this mask. And the boots. Now we just need the body piece. Alright. So, with that, let's head on down south. Try and find us some tar pits. Some tar pit tar pits. Dart! Dart! Ooh, we still need to fish. There we go. It figures. Back off! I guess I'll move into the open where I can actually hit you. Oh, this is horrible. There we go. Three down, one to go. That one up there is probably going to attack as well. Ouch! Ow! Dang, misclick. My mouse decided to go right instead of up. And right. Alright, let's go get our tombstone. Collect 
squee while we're at it because we need it for armor. If we're able to collect enough, I will recraft what I have on, try to get better items. But squee is like, I don't know, it's hard to find sometimes and there's other times where it's just like, good god, where did it all come from? Just like the flat stones. Alright, get all of our stuff back. Let's ignore that fishing hole and just keep going south. Try to find some turtles in the tar pits. Gasix. There's another squee. Shrine, turbo speed, excellent. There's a turtle. Let's turn him into turtle goo. Ah, 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 ah. That's enough of those. Now we just need three femurs. Which are really hard to find at times. Kill this turtle. Ooh, more squee. Ah, oh, there's one right there. Excellent. We need two more. We will need quite a bit more of them uh, along the road, though, so we need to try and hang around the tar pits. Uh, when we're just trying to like gather resources in general, that way we can try and find them. Because there are some weapons and armor that you need uh, quite a bit of those femurs. It can be rather annoying because it's not exactly like a renewable resource or anything. You just have to get lucky and hope that you find it. Wow, we're getting lucky in finding them. I'm actually, whoa, yeah, I'm definitely rather surprised. You can find groupings of like five or six of them, but that is very rare. The most I've ever seen uh, on a regular basis is like two or three next to one another, and they're usually like in the middle of the tar pit and surrounded by enemies, so I really don't at that point want to mess with fighting 50 million enemies just to get three femurs. Regular turtle. Seriously? Jerks. Jerks! Get wrecked. There we go. Just trying to do that so that I can attack these guys. Whoa! That thing really let off a big radius. Ouch! Ooh, turtle tongue. Splendid. It's one of the rare drops, if I'm not mistaken. Seriously, Glotopus? Get off me! fire at the moment. There we go. Hey, you jerk. I wasn't doing nothing to you. Although now I am. Squee! Alright, let's head home when we can. We go head home. And let's build this thing. Let's build it, man. Yeah. All of 23 seconds. And let's let's make some balloons. 
Let's make party central. Ooh, we can make some armor. Make that. Oh, pardon my stretching. Da 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 da. Station assembled. Look at all that fantastic stuff. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let's place it down. Fishimini. It can hold a lot of heat. Though it gets sticky after a lot of use, it could use a good rub down from time to time. Like, okay, right, we can place it right there. And there we go, flamethrower, that's next. We have the nitro. We need petrified amber. These ancient amber chunks are found in the bodies of the turtles. You can see tiny bugs trapped inside. And we also need turtle fire damp. This extremely volatile comet is produced in the belly of a domesticated turtle. It must be extracted very carefully. So we need to tame a turtle. And then the pearl scale, I know for a fact we are going to need some of these at some point. I don't know how many, but I know we're going to. Loon and... Oh, it's a white. Slacking. That one I am going to recraft because we have the materials to do so. Go. Ooh, check that out. That's what we need him for, is the armor. So let's craft some of that then. Ooh, it's green! I'll keep it. Because we're close to actually the next level of armor already as it is. So that's why I'm not actually going to be upgrading this stuff much. Uh, I'm not even going to upgrade that weapon. A white. Uh, I'm not, not going to keep that one. I'm going to try to recycle it. And hopefully I can have enough stuff to build, try to craft another one. I don't know. And we also need some of the sea rope for a couple of things. I believe you need the sea rope for the next level pick. I'm not sure. But I do know we need the sea rope for the far scale sword, which I love. This thing is awesome. And then some pearls. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. Oh, wait, no, we can't because we need the, uh, the tongue. What do we need to make this? Uh, fishing goodies and lotus berries. Those are the little plants that grow at nighttime that glow in the dark. It's all white. It figures. It's still quite a bit more damage than this thing right here, so we're going to equip it and use it. And then we're going to try to see if we can get lucky with this. Put another one of those as well, that way we can have a second chance. Uh, actually, no, we don't. We need the pond chute, which you get from fishing as well. This entire crafting station is like the fishing. That's, that's everything. Uh, 90... Most, a majority, I'm not going to say 90% or whatever, but a, a lot of the stuff in here requires fishing goods. Oh, yes, purple, check it out. Toughness, health, burn chance, shock chance, fire resist, that is a double score right there. All right. So we can recycle that. And what do we want to equip here? Now, the flatheads by themselves give 436 health, but if you come into here, you can craft them with this for 1600 health, which is insane at this level, because that's more, that's, that's almost twice what we, actually that is more than twice our total health right now, just by itself. So yeah, very cool. Very cool. Did I seriously miss one up there? I did. All right, let's make some more. Oh, we can't. We oh, we're missing more dirt. Arr, drat. All right, can we make any more gravel bombs? We could. Don't have any bombs to make there. Don't have any bombs to make there. So yeah, let's. 
come in here and equip our gravel bombs. And let's actually make some more. And that's going to do it for today's episode, folks. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below. If you didn't like it for some strange reason and you just want to troll me, you can go ahead and hit that dislike button down there. And if you would like to see, not see, have alerts to the next time videos come out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there somewhere, I believe. Uh, until next time, folks, I really hope you enjoyed the show. Have a wonderful, fantastic evening. Peace out.